Hello, I'm Chaplain Terry Irish. I served as a chaplain at City of Hope National Medical Center in Duarte, California for more than 10 years. And I wanted to spend a few moments with you visiting today. I hope you have the time. I won't be long, I promise. During this chaplain talk, I'd like to consider COVID-19 and you, or keeping in touch with your church family. Unless I miss my guess, I think you and I both wish that we had never heard of COVID-19, right? Right. Well, that's one wish that will never be granted. I'd like us to think about one of the biggest issues created by C-19, if you don't mind me shortening that name. How to keep in touch with your church family with social distancing and self-quarantining a current standard practice. The author of the letter to the Hebrews writes these words. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrews 10, 25. One of the greatest sources of encouragement God has provided for us is the fellowship we enjoy in the church, the body of Christ. An author by the name of Elton Trueblood, in his book entitled The Incendiary Fellowship, recognized that we gather as the body of Christ for primarily two things, worship and fellowship and are coming together encouraging, encourages, and lifts us all up. Further, True Blood states that each one of us has at our core what he describes as a coal, a spiritual aspect that dims during the week due to the struggles and the difficulties we all face. And right now, we all face a lot of those, I know. When we come together in worship, our coals have dimmed because of the difficulties, and our fellowship and our worship together fans those coals back into white-hot flames as our spirits are rekindled and renewed by the fellowship we experience with other Christians. When we leave worship, we are renewed and revived and restored. We're ready to go back into the world and serve Jesus Christ afresh and anew for another week. Right now, however, our meeting together cannot happen physically. However, we are blessed in this technological age with another method of meeting, electronically, using the internet. In a very little literal way, we are the church scattered for this present time much like the New Testament believers were scattered in the book of Acts. The exception is that in the first century church, believers were scattered because of persecution. We are scattered because of the COVID-19 or C-19 virus. This virus has forced us away from each other physically, but it can never separate us spiritually. So, let's keep in touch. Tune in to our Sunday morning worship service on our YouTube channel at 10 a.m. Reach out by phone and encourage each other during the week. Join one of the weekly prayer or Bible study opportunities that are listed in the Hilltop homepage. Contact the church office if you have a prayer request. Let others know if you have a specific physical need. Several people in our church family have volunteered to help you if you can't get out and go to the store or the pharmacy yourself. Remember, although we may be, we may be separate and apart physically, we are never alone. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that because of what you've done, you have brought us together spiritually and we are never alone. Even though right now we are separated by physical distance, 
Help us to be comforted and strengthened in our walk with you through this opportunity to meet together through the electronic age of the internet. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for letting me visit with you today. Be watching for future Chaplain Talks, which will also be posted on the Hilltop Church homepage. Until then, keep looking up.